talked about this with The Rock. And when you think about The <laughs> Way Rock... Way to name drop, by the way. <laughs> his whole goal was to play in the NFL. And that was like where his entire life was headed. His one sole goal was to play in the NFL. You know, and he played college ball at Miami, University of Miami. Then he went to the CFL and got cut from the Calgary Stampeders. And that was the end of his football career. And I think for a lot of other people, that would also be the end of their story. And I asked him, I said, if you could change anything to actually live the dream that you had to play in the NFL, would you change anything? And he told me something that was so profound. He said, no, I wouldn't change a thing. I worked so hard to play pro football. It didn't happen for me. You know, when it was a sobering experience because it was the realization of, hey, you're not good enough, by the way. But other players were, and they made it, and I'm happy for them. Ray Lewis, Warren Sapp, a lot of the guys who I played with. But no, I wouldn't change a thing because everything happens for a reason. And I also learned this, which was something, uh, which was a bit of advice I learned a few years ago. And I always carry it with me that uh, sometimes things don't happen when they don't. They can be the best things that never happen. If you want to hear more confessions and lessons learned from a Hollywood A-lister reporter, check out the full conversation I had with Chris Van Vliet. The link is right over there.